Mike Smith drop goal. Um, it won't be Mike Smith. No, that was the joke I was making. All right, we picked who will the drop make. goal? I don't know. Probably who you have a minute. Frank Paul Nuisala and Joel Tompkins. So <laughs> a Frank Paul Nuisala drop. T- I tell you what, then bollocks. Frank Paul Nuisala will drop it, <laughs> playing Just, the ball on the exit set. Frank Paul Cox for fingers isn't doing anything. A Talia Matautai drop goal. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty much the most skillful player you've got. Uh, I think we're going to win twenty-eight points to twenty. Mm. I think whilst we've not got a lot of players fit at the moment, I think we do have a little bit more squad depth yeah. overall. And if anyone is coming back, then it'll help. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. Uh, you're quite right. Uh, Lee and Tunes take on. And Kettleford. we're a fit with generally a, a better time well team stamina, stamina, stamina wise. Yeah. I mean. One thing I forgot to talk about in the games because I'm so like all over the show tonight with uh, tiredness mm. is that in the whole Saints game, the commentators on Sky were talking about at this point, you know, when Hull was starting to get bad, can they turn it around and win like a uh, sorry, lose like a winner, lose like a top team, yeah, really show something for next time and show that the performance up to that point wasn't the real them. Yeah. And they couldn't do it. Mm. Whereas Wigan, obviously they drew rather than were defeated, but Wigan showed exactly that. Mm. Exactly, exactly that by getting that last, getting up the field, getting the try. Do you know what I mean? Just goes to show what can happen if Warrington make a shit ton of errors. You're absolutely right. Um, um, no, I'd take your point. I'd be for You've got to be fit enough, smart enough, Absolutely. To get into that position, to put that level of skill on at that time, to come up with the goods. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I'm with you. Uh, Lee, welcome Castleford to the Lee Sports Village on Monday night's televised game, or Monday afternoon's televised game. It's on at four o'clock in the afternoon. I just don't pick against Castleford these days, mate. 30 points to 18 in favour of the Tigers, and I've built that closer scoreline in to reflect the fact that everyone's playing two games in three days. 36-18 there yeah. you go same, 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 same sort of thought really same, same, same. and the final game of the bank holiday weekend and round 16 sees Catalan Dragons hosting Hull FC this is where I've taken a punt because I reckon you might have caught up to me with a couple of these ones so I'm going to go with Hull getting away with a four point victory over the still fairly rudderless Catalan Dragons 20 points to 16 I reckon I'm going to go with a Catalan win hmm. 26-12 I think it'll maybe be nice and reassuring for them to be at home. Don't know if the Catalan fans actually ever really do get behind the team in times of adversity, but <laughs> I'm just going to assume they do in this one. And uh, and so that with like with a filter of a cigarette. And think that a few things come off. And obviously, we know that Hull FC can't cope with uh, these turnarounds and stuff because of the injury-ridden nature of. Um, well, they are riding out yeah. quite seriously a very strong, very serious injury crisis, mm. aren't they? At the minute, so you know, good luck to them. They are. Doing it tough, yeah. Do not forget to make your super predictions. Twenty six twelve, I've gone. No, no, Sorry, twenty six twelve, Catalan. Do not forget to make your super boo predictions though, because there's a sugar load of games on, uh, and make teams to your changes to your dream team lineups, and you can follow all the action over the weekend as it happens. Thanks to our friends at SL Clubs on Twitter. Give them a follow if you haven't already. Mark, it's the Championship Summer Bash, and we've already talked ad nauseum about what we're going to be doing over the weekend but we're going to throw this weekend's fixtures into the pot for our little competition as well the weekend starts uh, well the weekend actually starts with the League One Cup final as Barrow Raiders take on the North Wales Crusaders well as we know half the Barrow's team will be rested up because they didn't go to exactly they've all, they've all had a good week off in, on, they? in all honesty the momentum yeah. has swung a little bit if, mm. if there was such a thing that like you know building into a game um North Wales have got themselves going quite... The thing for North Wales, they've got the experience of winning these occasions yeah, um, true. more recently than Barrow have got the experience of playing in these occasions. But Barrow are the better side so far this year, so I've got to back them. Yeah, I'm backing Barrow as well for a lot of the same reasons. Then at 2.30 on Saturday afternoon, Oldham Ruffian to take on the Rochdale Hornets. Can't be claiming to be such good friends with Barry McDermott without backing Oldham, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Back the rough heads. I, I think Oldham have got more point scoring ability and it's set to be quite a warm and pleasant afternoon mm. in uh, Bloomfield Road. Sun always shines in Blackpool. So uh, I think that I'm going to go with Oldham. Fantastic. Uh, because I think they've got the ability to score more points than Rochdale. Superb. London take on Featherstone Rovers at quarter five on Saturday afternoon. Broncos. Well, the, these are two teams that are both winning big games, aren't they? The, but Broncos are the professional outfit, so I'm going to pick London. 
Uh, I, I, I think this is a really exciting fixture um, and actually is the real headline one uh, given what happened at Bradford in the off season and stuff yes um, London for me though uh, and, I, and it was a tough one it was a toss up there you go well this one was not a tough one Okay, KR flying eye Bradford Bulls rock bottom KR by a billion yeah, okay, let's move on. There you go. Uh, the Sunday afternoon starts with Sheffield Eagles taking on the Swinton Lions. Tricky one to pick this one. Both teams have been a bit in miss and uh, in and around the same sort of neck of the woods uh, in the table, but I'm going to go with Sheffield Eagles to win this one. And I'm going to go with Swinton to Good. win this one. Good, I'm glad. I'm quite glad about that. Um, it's a point yeah. back for me, I reckon. I mean, they won't have the ability to call on dual reg players, but they've taken a few players on loan from mm. Wigan, players that maybe won't be getting deals re-sign like um, young Connor Farrell and, and stuff like yeah. that so uh, the, you know and they, they look quite good in attack and it's just about being good defensively too and then they'll win yep. Halifax welcome to lose to the Costa Blackpool what do you think about this one I flip flopped on this one mm. um, and I <laughs> In the end, I thought Halifax have turned up quite well the last two summers. Actually, they played a much superior to them Bradford side the first time around and lost it actually quite close. They yeah. were very competitive in that fixture. Yes, they were. And last year was wasn't last year when they trounced Fev like forty odd points by forty points. Was that was that the year we sat behind that nice couple from Featherstone, that nice father and daughter from Featherstone? Was that the year before? No, that was the year before when Featherstone played Lee, and we were sat in the Featherstone end on the That's Saturday. Right, yeah. Last year it was last year it was on the Sunday. Yeah, Halifax they got mulled, against didn't they? Halifax. So I think Halifax have turned up well at the Bash so far, and I think they'll do it again. Right, I think Toulouse are going to win. I like Toulouse to play a good brand of rugby league. Although they are missing some key players, I still think they've got enough to beat it. Beat Halifax okay. on the Sunday afternoon. Final game of the weekend in Blackpool. It's the Heavy Woolen Derby Mart. Batley Bulldogs taking on Dewsbury Dams. What do well, you reckon? Batley owe Dewsbury because they're the only they team they've beaten, aren't they? Yeah. So you don't want to be too embarrassed by your local rivals consistently. So I'm going to go Batley. Yeah, and I'm um, looking for reasons to cheer people on. Matt Diskins, the head coach at Batley. So I will pick Batley Bulldogs as well. Into the NRL, Mark. What Brit picks have you got for us this week? Well, um, Compressed round, lots mm-hmm. of teams on buys. So we only have um, the Rabbitohs versus the Eels on Friday at 10.50, the Sharks versus the Bulldogs Saturday at 10.30, and the Raiders versus the Roosters Sunday at 7 a.m. There you go, okay. Well, that is the world of rugby league well and truly covered for another week on the Super League pod. All that remains for us to do is have some fun with some SLP trivia and wrap up the show. Okay, so we come to the end of your 143rd Super League pod, and as has been tradition for the last few weeks of this season, it's the trivia quiz. I'm really hoping I can up my game after last week's poor show. Mark, what have you got for us? Well, we've got try scorers at both the Summer Bash and Magic Week in us preview Terrific. before. By my records, which are not necessarily complete, because um, it, was, it was bashed together on Saturday lunchtime, this... Uh-huh. Um, but there are... Adam O'Brien became the eighth player to achieve this feat, um, by my records. Right. So we're going to look for you to name the other seven. Okay, so... Right, let's... we could do clues. Oh, okay. But do you want to see if you can tick any off? Yeah, I'd like to. I didn't think you were going to give me clues to start with. Okay, I'll be as logical as I can and try not to be too biased, but I'm going to try and think of Liam Bratford players because I think that might be a good place to start. So this is players who've scored at Magic and at the Blackpool Bash. Yeah, and obviously there's only been two years of the Summer Bash, but yeah. there's been um, quite a lot, a lot of, of magic, magic weekends now. Exactly. Okay, let's go with Mickey Hyam. Yes. Fantastic. He, he scored... Lee Centurion's hooker scored against us last time out and has probably scored a hat full of tries. At. No, he's only scored one Magic Weekend try yeah. uh, back in Cardiff for Wigan uh, in 2008. Yeah. But he's been on the score sheet in both Summer Bash weekends. There you go. Okay. Uh, Lee Gaskell. No. Matty Blythe. No. Okay, let's start thinking. Um, Gaz Hock. No. As if he's not been suspended for the moment. Yeah, exactly. Dale Ferguson. No. Um, Chris Wellham. No. All right, go on, start giving us some clues then. Chris Wellham... Might have now actually come to think of it. I can't remember if he did score for you last year. I think year. he scored last season. 
Well, anyway. then, then he might be on the list now as well, and I might have missed him um, off from adding on. But this was all the players who'd done it before this week, this year, anyway. Okay. So let's do some clues. Yes. Right. This half or centre scored at Blackpool for Dewsbury last year. Oh, God. After having scored in three Magic Weekends for three different sides in three different venues, including a try in the first ever Magic Weekend back in 2007 and a hat trick at Murrayfield in 2009. Oh my god. Seat in Magic slash yeah. history. Like for Dewsbury? Yeah. Centre slash halfback or centre slash standoff. <laughs> Is it Carl Price? <laughs> um, now, nah, come on, give us it then. Carl Price hasn't. No, he hasn't. No, he hasn't. Um, Go on, who is it? No, he, right, the hat trick he scored in 2009 oh. at Murrayfield was for Bradford Bulls. The try he scored in the first. Paul Sykes. Time. Yes, well done. Right, this Welsh winger has scored in both Summer Bash weekends so far. He also scored for Crusaders at Cardiff back in 2011. Elliot Keir. Not no. Elliot Keir. No, but he's, <laughs> he's one of them. But he is one of them. Okay, right. Elliot Keir grabbed two tries for London in the first Summer Bash weekend two right. years ago after having been a try scorer in Manchester's 2012 Magic for Bradford. Okay, so go back over this other Welsh guy for the, me then. This Welsh... We've got a few Welsh wingers, actually. This Welsh winger scored in both Summer Bash weekends so far. He also scored for Crusaders in Cardiff back in 2011. Oh. No, go on, give it us. He plays for the London Broncos now. Oh, Evans. Is it Evans? No, Reese Williams. Reese Williams. I had Reese in there for some Okay. Reason. Okay, okay, Reese Williams. This player Where scored... Are we Sorry? How many out of eight am I at so far? Three. Three out of seven. Three out of seven. Um, this player scored a memorable Super League debut try... In 2010 Magic Weekend, and helped himself to a hat trick in last year's Summer Bash for Workington Town. Jared Summit? Yes. The Maltese International. The Maltese Falcon himself. Captain this, Jack Sparrow. This winger was on the score sheet for Salford back in 2014 at the Etihad and for Bradford in 2016 at Bloomfield Road. Salford winger. Williams. Danny. Yes. And the last one. The only player to have scored a try in both weekends for the same club. A club he left last off-season. He scored at Magic in 2014 and the Summer Bash in 2016. It's going to be a Bradford player then. (sighs) It's not Lee Gaskell. Um, It's not Adam O'Brien. It's not Ferg's. Paul Clough. For the same club. When did he play a Super League game for, uh, yeah. for Bradford? True, 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 true. And when did he score a try? <laughs> I'm just fucking working it out in my head. All right, I'm already over half mark, so I'm happy here. Um, I could stick. Right. Um, oh, come on. Can you give us another clue? What position are we talking? Utility. Utility. Yeah. Right. Um... The problem is, is we've used a lot of players out of position, so you could call a lot of players utility. Um, nah, go on, I'm going to be, I'm just, I'm just going to start. Scottish International. I said Fergs. Yes, but you haven't said this person. <laughs> Danny Addy. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I People about, always shout at that I forgot one. about the Barn Owl. Fair play. So how many are we saying I got out of ten there? Or out of eight? One, two, three, four, five. Well, you got In to the end, all. you got six out of six out of eight. Seven. Six out of seven, that's great guns. You didn't get I know um, a lot about rugby league. You didn't get Reese Williams. That's alright. I'm not worried about that. I know a lot about rugby league. I'm happy again. Uh, shall I find out if Chris Wellham um did score for I you last year? I'll try to work out if he did now. I was pretty pissed by that point. I just have it in my head that he put he he, he took a kick and put one down. For us. Well, we'll soon find out. Oh, did he go to the video ref and get chalked off? Who, who had to try? You're asking me the wrong thing. I was probably more hammered last year at the Summer Bash than I was the year before. Right. By the end of the day one. Hmm. I'd forgotten that you...